Hola from Barcelona! I'm Madison, joined by my friend Zach, and today we're going to shop until we drop. Everyone wants to find a special souvenir when they travel, but you don't really want to go out of your way for it. So today, we are going to show you some of the most unique things you can buy near some of the top destinations to see in the city. We are starting on Las Ramblas, one of the most famous and historic streets in the city, where you will probably go to visit La Boqueria, the food market. And at La Boqueria, there are several fun souvenir options like Catalonia's famous nougat, salt, saffron, olive oil, and romesco sauce. But outside of the food market, there's just a lot of random overpriced shops here for the most part, other than the official FC Barcelona store which is three stories. Not necessarily our thing, but these Barcelona jerseys are a very popular souvenir and I actually kind of want one now because they're super cute. They have like really fun lines here, like really fun colors, really fun like versions, kind of, Cool enough that I almost want one, even though I've never watched an FC Barcelona game in my life. <laughs> Another really cool spot for souvenir shopping is in some of the more iconic buildings here in Barcelona. You come here to Casa Amatier and actually buy, this was the home of a super famous, one of Barcelona's biggest chocolatiers. He had this house commissioned. It's super cool, honestly. It looks pretty chocolatey to me. You can tell that it's pretty inspired by the commissioner of the home. And you can go in it and buy like the Amatier chocolate, which is super cool, like a fun souvenir combined with like an actual activity. Like you're not just shopping, you're also seeing an amazing local site. Uh, and don't forget to see what you can spot on the facade of the building because there's definitely some chocolatey details in there. Yummy. <laughs> and while you're there, it's right next to Casa Botlo, another iconic building here made by Gaudi. So you get to check it all out. This is a cool place to be. This place is clearly very popular. There's so many photographers and people going in to get their coffee and a great place to souvenir shop because we got this guy. The people here are so knowledgeable. There's such a crazy variety of coffee in here too. Like we literally went in and I asked him like, oh, I have an AeroPress at home. It's our coffee maker that we travel with. Check it out in our Amazon store in the link in the description. Um, but yeah, we have our coffee maker. This is how we make coffee. This is what we like. And he brings out several bags and says, this one will have this, this one will have this. If you want something more interesting, try this one. So we are. Uh, but yeah, it's an amazing place to grab a souvenir and also grab a coffee for now. And it's just this super cute, super trendy little shop, even if you aren't taking home a souvenir. But highly recommend this is a perfect souvenir from your trip that actually shows them like bring this home and say like this is a taste of your actual Barcelona experience and you will definitely be near Nomad Coffee Shop when you're in Barcelona it's right near the Palau de la Musica the Arc de Triomphe in the park the Picasso Museum the location is insane and speaking of insane American socks in Barcelona. Oh, it's even. A really funny souvenir and funny part of Christmas traditions here in Catalan is these pooping guys. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but like, look at this. This is it. This is the classic, the traditional guy. So these are Caganers and they are said to bring good luck. You have to put one near your nativity scene for good luck. These guys bring good luck because through their poop, the land is fertilized and it just brings in just good luck, great harvest for your year. So, I mean, I just like, this is just amazing. Like you cannot get this anywhere else in the world. Like this is 
such a special tradition. It is an honor to be depicted as one of these guys, which is so crazy to me, but we actually saw in the shop, there are people posing with the one depicting them. Like it is a thing, like Robert De Niro and his Kaganer. So here you can see there's some of all different classic figures. We have Yoda, we have Harry Potter, we have Ariel, we have politicians, we have Marilyn Monroe. Like there's such a variety. Or of course the classic is the guy with the red hat, the Catalan guy. Oh, and they even have like the Gaudi lizard. And another part of Christmas tradition here is another pooping guy actually the pooping log. The log will poop out presents, so you get a like a legitimate log, like a big log, and the kids will beat it like a pinata or shake it around, and that is how they get their presents, poops it out. The great thing is at these shops, you can get a pooping log pooping out presents in the shape of the pooping guy, which just sounds like the most traditional thing you could ever imagine of Catalan Christmas tradition. So yeah, this place is amazing. Definitely a fun souvenir to check out when you're here in Barcelona. <laughs> classic things to get in Barcelona is some Catalan ceramics and like they are known for this the absolutely beautiful handicraft work we're gonna check out ceramic village ceramic village they're, cool. they're so cute These handmade shoes are an absolute classic here in Barcelona and in this region. Uh, they're very pricey. Um, but yeah, like literally one of my friends that came to Barcelona said that like her biggest regret was not buying some of these handmade shoes. They're so cute, so fun, so like personalized because they are handmade, a variety of colors and paintings. Pretty cute, definitely check them out. There's even classes available where you can make your own. So definitely if you're looking for a fun Barcelona souvenir, Absolutely something worth checking out. The next day, we checked out Park Guell, another one of architect Anthony Gaudi's masterpieces and its gift shop. My favorite souvenirs here were these funny little wooden Gaudis and this mosaic jewelry that mirrors the gorgeous mosaic work around the park. and the view from the gift shop is pretty incredible too. And our last stop is La Sagrada Familia, one of the most stunning places you will ever experience. I could spend hours watching the light reflect through these stained glass windows and taking in the facades, which in my opinion actually makes this the most difficult place to souvenir shop. This is a memory you'll definitely want to cherish forever, but after experiencing the breathtaking beauty of this place, it just feels wrong to project that memory into a $5 plastic magnet. The gift shop is massive though, so if you are dedicated, I am sure you can find something from books to art pieces. There is pretty much everything you can think of. I think something incredible about Barcelona is definitely the artistry displayed here, from the homemade shoes and pottery to the architecture and the food. We are definitely loving exploring this incredible city and can't wait to taste more in the next video. So please hit that subscribe button, it seriously helps us so much. Hit that like button and we'll see you on the next one.